What's up, YouTube? Sean the Gamer here with my cousin Thomas again. What's up? Uh, if you hear some controllers going off in the background, that's because he's playing a little bit of Madden before Raw. So we're going to take this time to actually like just give a few thoughts on uh, one or two subjects. We're not going to spend too much time on it, but one of the, the first subjects we're going to talk about is a couple of things we don't want to see from the brand split. Uh, one thing that I kind of don't want to see is two pay-per-views a month for both shows. Do not want to see that because that's just oversaturation and pretty much being the same like then what's the point of a brand split if we're getting all these same people all the time? You know what I mean? It, the thing I want to say about this brand split is developed storylines. And I think they need to go back to the old rotation formula, like Raw, then SmackDown, Raw, then SmackDown. I don't want to see Raw have one, then SmackDown have one, and then, you know, in the same week or in the same month. I'd space them out. You know, every eight weeks have a pay-per-view. What do you think about that one? Oh yeah, I, that's true. I don't want to see that neither because I feel like it'd be like really packed. Mm -hmm. It'd be really packed, and it it wouldn't give that same feeling. And then I feel like I just don't honestly. I don't want for it to make it seem like it's a competition between Raw and SmackDown. I never like that. But that's what it's supposed to be. They're two dueling, two separate things. If they do it right, it's supposed to be two separate things. Like Raw is his own thing and SmackDown is his own thing. It's just under the same umbrella. Like how the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. That's how it's supposed to be. Right. And then they come together for WrestleMania. Yeah. For like your top four events. WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, Survivor Series. Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. I just don't want fun to... Because they was making it weird in the past. Like, they done made it seem like it was goddamn WCW and NWO. I just was like, nah, don't do that. Yeah, um, that's one thing. And I don't want to see more titles. Like, I don't want to see, like, two sets of world, or two sets of, no, two sets of tag belts, two women's titles. I don't want to see all that. Um, I want to see, I know a lot of people don't want to see this, but I want to see, like, tag teams on one show. The women's division on another uh, U.S. championship IC title. You can bring back another world title because they're going to be two different brands. You have to have another world title for SmackDown, mm -hmm. and then just have it like that. So three belts for each show. I think that's fine. Am I missing one? Tag U.S. Uh, Intercontinental Women's Heavyweight five. Why do I feel like there's six Cause you on mean, the main roster? It, it, it's, it's, it's women's tag team, Queen, the world, the adult, and the two mid card titles. Yeah, it's only it, five belts. Yeah, because you want for it there to be a because uh, you because you want for there to be a cruiserweight. There's going to be a cruiserweight belt. It's going to be. It's, we, they were talking about this song, uh, Changing the Questions, earlier. If you don't know uh, who they are, have a link down below. I write, that's where I write a lot of my articles for. They've been on the uh, channel before. So, uh, they were just saying, like, the Cruiserweight can really... You, you haven't seen the listing yet, have you, of who's in the Cruiserweight series? The, all 32 names have, have been dropped, including names like... Uh, Zack Sabre Jr., Tajiri, V. Brian Kendricks, uh, um, and a whole bunch of other like different names from around the world, and you can literally build a different brand off of this. So I really think that they should have like a cruiserweight show, have like it thirty minutes to an hour. You have the the cruiserweight belt be the top belt on that, and have like a cruiserweight tag division and just have it be its own separate thing and I think that's what they're pushing with all the 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 specialty I don't want to say specialty but like the women's title the tag team so look, you look how they built it even they was talking about it on the thing I didn't even notice this but they're bringing in a whole bunch of different women from around the world they're bringing in a whole bunch of different cruiserweights and tag teams you actually have the potential right now from what the signees and all this stuff in the in six months to a year for it to be potentially three separate sh different like shows like you can have a a women's based show 
You can have a tag team based show. You can have a cruiserweight based show. You can have NXT. You can have uh, Raw. You can have SmackDown. You can have all these different shows and it won't feel like it's too much. Yeah. As long as they keep it special or keep it separate. Like, don't let any of these things cross promote when they don't have to. When it don't make sense, don't have these things coexisting. Like, if you're going to have a Cruiserweight show, don't have Roman Reigns spearing the hell out of uh, the Brian Kendricks if he's the world heavyweight, you know, your Cruiserweight champion. Because that's just going to de- devalue that belt. Just keep them separate. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that's a, a really interesting point, just having all these different divisions be its own thing. Like, even if you have, like, the women's belt primarily featured on Raw, you can still have a women's based 30 minute show just like with just women's wrestling. I think that'd be a great thing to have. And you also said you want to talk about NXT being its own brand, yeah, especially. So I guess if you're asking that question, you feel like NXT is about to get gutted. Like everybody else does. When no, I'm saying... No, what I was saying was... Um... How's it gonna be after? So what's what's gonna be developmental now? The PC, like it's always supposed to have been, the performance center down there, Florida. Okay. That's gonna be uh, developmental, because uh, we all know if you don't know, NXT actually started off, it didn't even start off as developmental. It started off as a stupid show called Florida <laughs> Championship. No, 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 not even that. I'm talking about the actual NXT competition show. Oh yeah, that crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where that's where uh, Daniel Bryan was on there. He was tutored by the Miz, and they got all that stuff out from. So uh, that's where the original Nexus came from. Yeah. Uh, and then after a while, it spun into what Triple H has now created. Thank you, Triple H. <laughs> so now it was thought of as the de- developmental territory for the past couple of years. Back when it was just people like uh, Seth Rollins, when it when it was like he said transitioning from FCW into the PC Center, which is now uh, NXT. So that's what he's talking about when he says becoming development to his own brand. It's been his own brand for like a year and a half now. <laughs> They're doing fine. I think ever since I was yeah I say about since since. Dude, what was the uh, the takeover before Brooklyn? I forgot the name of that one. But before that one, I feel like that's when it officially became its own brand. Or when okay, what is the best way to put it? What's the best way to put it? When Kevin Owens became champion, that's when it became its own brand. Yeah. I feel like Sami Zayn was the last developmental champion because he was the last if I'm not if I'm mistaken he was the last development the last person to come in from the indies that had a name change from El Generico to Sami Zayn so I would say that would be the last of the developmental if that makes any sense yeah so when Kevin Owens came in I mean yeah his on the independence name was Steam but they still let him keep Kevin so and his son's first name is Owens so or Owen so that just makes sense. So he still technically kept his own name. So I think when NXT started bringing in a lot of these independent guys, that's when it became its own brand. And it's going to do fine, especially if it, if it gets gutted. Um, they're going to bring up a whole lot of people within the next couple of weeks. But like I said, with all the people they, they're bringing in and training from PC, it's not going to be a problem. It's not going to be a problem at all. No, I'm just saying... As its own brand, it, it, it's gonna. No, I'm saying, I'm not saying it's gonna be a bad thing. I'm no, saying, no, no, no. I'm, I'm excited for the future of NXT because, uh, like I started watching NXT, like shit when Kevin Owens came in, like I was, I would watch every now and then. I watch a couple of matches because they were actually good matches. I watch, I watch the women's matches, and some of the tag team matches because the at the time the tag against women division on the main roster was sorry, hard. So I, if I wanted to watch that kind of wrestling, I watch NXT. Or TNA. <laughs> so, <clears throat> nice. remember this is last year, so uh, I don't think they were completely, completely buried. So, yeah. um, but all in all, I think 
NXT. I, I, I'm ready for this big change to happen with the big gut that they're about to do and then bringing all these new people. Like, I'm excited for people like No Way Jose, who who is amazingly got himself over. Uh, Bobby Roode just uh, debuted in NXT. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm, I had a moment. You know I like Bobby Roode. <laughs> I know. Bobby Roode had his first NXT match. Oh. I got to watch. I got to go find it. Uh, Bobby oh. Roode had his. Hopefully, they'll play it on NXT this week. Uh, Eric Young, Samoa Joe is champion. E-Y. So, I think if anybody ever wondered if WWE ever cared about NXT, uh, TNA, no, they didn't care about TNA. They care about their talents. <laughs> right. They care about their talents. James Storms will be back in NXT by summer 2017. So, mark my word. It, or, or we're just gonna get beer money on the main roster by 2017. And that's gonna make me get emotional. And that, that, I'm gonna get so emotional when that happens. So, like, I care about Bobby Roode, man. Bobby Roode, I've been waiting on Bobby Roode to jump to WWE for the longest. Everybody has. But, um, we got all these people coming in, especially in the women's division. We got all these, like, Peyton Royce. I'm really excited to see what she's gonna deliver. Uh, yeah, she's, the yeah. uh, Blanchard Foley's daughter's coming in soon. Yeah. All these different people. Uh, TM sixty one. Oh uh, yeah, Tommaso good. and Champa. Uh, DJ all, Khaled nephews. DJ Khaled nephews, right? Uh, the uh, the Archers of Pain. There's so much. The American Alphas are still down there for a moment. They probably if they get that call up this early, that just means WWE has so much faith in them. They have so much faith in them. And to be honest, if they go up to the main roster, I see them becoming tag champs with, by the end of the year. That's I see. I look at them and see a. Ooh, this is gonna be a bold statement. So, <laughs> oh, you guys be prepared. I feel like they jump to the main roster. They might be a better gr- world's greatest tag team. I can see, not not immediately. I'm not immediately. Right when I said that, I thought about a couple of their uh, ROH matches, and I was like, "Oh Lord, right. I said that, and now I don't want to." They have the potential, they, but the thing that scares me about American Alpha is both of them can be stars on their own. Yeah. So I'm afraid of them getting split up and not having, not really reaching that potential to be like a world's greatest tag team. Yeah. So I, I feel you. They could be that. That's all, where all the comparisons are. But I still see Kurt Angle wants to come back. Even Jeff Hardy recently said he wants to have his WrestleMania retirement match soon. So, <laughs> brother, you are gonna go against? <laughs> hey, that'd be funny. That hey, that should be a good way for both of them to go out. To induct, yeah. To, to, to induct the Hardys, like. Uh, have Jeff versus Matt in like a real like wrestling match or even as a tag team have the Hardy Boys face off against the Alphas. Oh yeah, that'd be in a good re- pass in the tour. Yeah. Or if not the Alphas Who need like what's a tag team that's... I like I like the way I like like normally how they I don't know, WWE throw Like it. I I I would I would love to see like, cause we're already getting like a fatal four way tag match for the titles and I don't want to see that when it comes to like the Hardys, unless nope, because even <sighs> who do you who do you have if the if the Hardys retire in WWE as a team? I, I know Matt's a little iffy, and Jeff Jeff is probably a little bit more in the upper up and up now other than Matt, and you wouldn't probably think you would ever say that, <laughs> but. Who would you like them to have that WrestleMania retirement match with? Me, I'm going with Breezango. They need the rub. I mean, Fondango already beat Chris Jericho at WrestleMania, so it's not out the realm of possibility. <laughs> and Tyler Breeze needs that rub. He really do. But in a serious note, if I had to pick somebody, because mm, I don't want it to be the New Day. They don't need it. It just depends on who needs it at the time when they come in. Unless you want to have, like, a WrestleMania rematch or something like that between, like, Team 3D, the Hardys, and maybe one more team in, like, a TLC match just just for, just for the hell of it. Or I think that's something they'll do at the TLC pay-per-view now. I don't know. That's, that's the one thing about having gimmick pay-per-views. You can't just randomly have matches anymore. So, this video is a little bit longer. We're already, like, five minutes late for all. <laughs> so just leave your thoughts on everything we talk down below 
I have Thomas linked down below as well. If you want to follow me on all types of social media, that's going to be linked down below as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, it's all going to be down there. Whew. Subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends so they can too. And I'd like for your support to be shown. With all that being said, I am Sean the Gamer. I am good old Thomas. And we are...